Welcome to another episode of No Nonsense Cigar Reviews. My name is James Wiedenbeck, and today I've got a very special review for you because this is a cigar that hasn't even been released yet. This is the Monte Cristo 1935 Anniversary Edition Diamante, Diamond Edition. This comes from Altidus USA. It's made by A.J. Fernandez. Yes, you got that right. This is another Altida cigar that comes from A.J. Fernandez and his factory in Nicaragua. This blend was created by uh, A.J. and Rafael Nodal when they were working on the blend for the 1935 anniversary in Nicaragua. They decided that to, the tobaccos in this were not, uh, not quite ready for prime time, and uh, they needed some more time to let them sit and uh, develop a bit more before they created this cigar. Well, this cigar, what is it? Uh, it's made in Nicaragua at AJ's factory. Yes, it's made at AJ's factory. Let's talk about that for a second. I know some of you out there are only smoking cigars from smaller manufacturers, uh, even just boutique manufacturers. AJ used to fall into that, doesn't anymore. AJ makes an absolute ton of cigars. Uh, some of you smoke small manufacturer stuff, boutique stuff, because you think that these larger manufacturers just can't compete with their blends or the quality of their cigars. You're wrong. You're, you're, you're wrong. Uh, there's a reason why these bigger companies got to be bigger companies. And uh, I, I can tell you from personal experience, Altidus, the quality of the cigars that are coming out of their factories, the factories that they own are fantastic. Uh, they also have stuff coming out of AJ. They've got stuff coming out of Placencia. Again, very high quality control uh, coming out of AJ and Placencia. And very high quality control coming out of Altidus' own factories. Out of all the big manufacturers that we get cigars from, I have less problems with Altidus cigars than anybody else's, just between me and you. So let, let's get back to this. And this is going to be kind of a, a weird review for me because uh, I haven't smoked this yet. I haven't smoked it. I don't know what I'm getting into. I don't know if this is going to be good. I don't know if this is going to be bad. I can tell you coming from uh, AJ and Raphael, this is probably going to be a really great cigar because they don't put out cigars that aren't. So without further ado, let's talk about it. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and light it up. The band on this thing. Let me try and turn away. Ha ha! I had to get out of frame. The band on this says Monte Cristo 1935 anniversary. There is a secondary band that has that uh, Edición Diamante. It's it's kind of got the same shtick as the other 1935 anniversary. The uh, the coloring is a little different. Uh, this looks almost like a brownish red on, on here. Let me grab a uh, cutter. I'm going to do a straight cut on this. And uh, the size that I have is a size that I don't normally smoke, but this is the one I was given. Uh, this is the uh, the 6x60. Six uh, this is the, what they call their Grande. Wow. There's some sweetness coming off of this. That's shocking. <laughs> shocking for a uh, an AJ to have uh, some some sweetness and not some crazy spice down my throat. All right, let's light this bad boy up. I'm just gonna toast it up here. Uh, the lighter I'm using is a. Uh, a Macanudo lighter, uh, was Macanudo Inspirado lighters uh, that I got uh, at a uh, Inspirado event. 
I absolutely adore this this lighter. Uh, nice four flame, big uh, big tank on it, and uh, it just it doesn't say no. It <laughs> it lights every time, and I abuse the living crap out of this thing. All right, I'm going to smoke this down a little bit before I say anything about it. I, I don't want to give you a, oh, I taste this in the first two puffs because you'd know I was full of shit. Uh, <laughs> anybody that can taste anything in, in two puffs like that, they're full of it. Don't, don't believe a word they say. Uh, all right, so what is this thing? Uh, we already said it's, it's AJ, it's made by AJ, uh, blended with AJ and Rafael Nadal. Well, it's AJ, so it's going to be Nicaraguan, and it's all Nicaraguan. The wrapper in this, which has, it's it's a weird color wrapper. Um, it's it's almost uh, it's it's got a tinge of red to it. Uh, it's uh, what we're told is this is a hybrid, a new hybrid tobacco that has been created by AJ. Uh, it's grown in uh, in the uh, Jalapa region, um, and this is a lower priming. It's interesting that they tell us that it's a lower priming. And what does that mean? Primings are the basically layers of the tobacco plant. The top primings are the ones that are closest to the sun. So they are going to create the most nicotine, to be frank. Uh, the higher priming leaves are going to have the most nicotine in them. Uh, they also typically have the most sugar content to them as well. Uh, but uh, that's that's where the really strong stuff comes from, the Lajero. That's where that the, the strong tobacco comes from. The mid to low primings, that's where... I don't want to say weak, but that's where the less strong tobacco com comes from. And I'm talking about nicotine strength. I'm not talking about flavor. Strength in, in nicotine and strength of flavor are two entirely different things. It, it's, it's flavorful. I can tell you that at this point. Um, it, it's, it doesn't appear to be a strong cigar at this point either. But again, I am a few puffs in. The binder. The binder comes from Ometepe. Ometepe is, is volcanic soil. And it's a criollo uh, that is the binder of this thing. A binder, uh, a criollo binder grown in the volcanic soil of Ometepe. The filler... There's three different fillers in this cigar, and they all come from Esteli. So this cigar is almost like a tour of Nicaragua. It, it really has tobaccos from every major growing region of the country. You'll notice I'm almost like half retrohaling. I'll uh, take half of the, the smoke and it comes out my nose and then I'll, I'll blow the rest out of my mouth. I get, that's called a retrohale when you do that. And it allows you to taste different things. Um, our senses of taste and smell are, they're, they're two peas in a pod. They are very, very interconnected. And... Uh, it, it taking the smoke out your nose will, will actually open your palate up a little and allow you to explore different flavors. If you haven't done it, if you haven't tried that, that retrohale, 
the first couple of times are going to be a little rough. <laughs> Just to warn you, the first couple of times are going to be a little rough. It's going to burn a little bit, maybe. Uh, and uh, you might sneeze, you might cough. Um, you're not taking the smoke into your lungs. You're taking it and just, you know, in in your face, taking the smoke from your mouth and putting it out of your nose. Now, sizes. Just like the uh, 1935 anniversary Nicaragua, uh, these are 10 count boxes, which are going to... Uh, Soften the blow if you decide to buy a box because they are, I, I'm not going to get into MSRP. Um, I don't like mentioning MSRP because being in New York, MSRP is uh, a bit different for us here than it is for, say, online or, or you know other places in the country uh, because of tax situations. So I don't get into pricing. Uh, sizes. They have what they're calling the Icon, uh, which is a four and three quarters by 48. They have a Robusto, a five by 54, kind of common size Robusto. Uh, Toro, six by 55, uh, which is kind of a thicker Toro. Uh, number two, which is that, uh, if you're not familiar with the number two size, it's uh, got that, that torpedo tip on it. It's a six and a half by 56. So it's slightly bigger than the Toro. Uh, they have the Grande, which is what this is, a six by 60 and a Churchill seven by 54. That's the one I really want to try. I, I can't wait until these actually release and I can get my hands on a Churchill. Now, this is not my size, this Grande. I am not a six by 60 guy. But I'm, I'm not hating this. Uh, and I think the reason why is the soft box press that's on these. I, I think it makes it, for lack of a better term, fit in the mouth a little better. Uh, but uh, it's um, the soft box press definitely helps with this uh, is, as far as the sizing goes. If you're normally a Toro guy, you can probably tolerate this uh, the 6x60. I... I I'm Toro or, or lower normally, and uh, I'm, I'm not hating this. Uh, this is a nice size. It seems to be burning. Let me, again, get out of the frame here and hold this up. It seems to be burning very well. Um, it's a uh, kind of mixture of, of dark and white ash. Uh, let's see if I can... Come on. Eh, it doesn't like focusing. I apologize for blowing smoke right in your face on the camera, but the camera's right in front of me. I can't help it. And I don't want to, you know, blow off to the side. kind of looks a little weird. So I'm going to take a little break here. I'm going to put this on pause, and I'm going to come back at about the midway point on this. Um, I, 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 I'm not going to do the third, third, third thing. Um, we'll, we'll get into that. We'll do a, a secondary review on this cigar later on. I want to give you the guts of it. Uh, so I'm going to stop about halfway through, tell you what my experience is. I'm going to try and hold this ash until then. We'll see what happens. And uh, I'll be back soon. All right, I'm back. So you can see I'm yeah, about halfway on this. In fact, I'm going to take that lower band off. Came off without a, a glitch. I hate when they over glue those bands and you end up <laughs> ripping the cigar. Uh a little tip, I, I know I've said this before if you've watched a bunch of my videos. Smoke your, leave your bands on. I, I know some of you like to take them off right away because you're not a band smoker and, and you, you like to take them off. I leave mine on, not because I want people to know what I'm smoking, but because what happens is as you smoke this cigar, your cigar starts to get a little warm and it'll actually loosen the glue on the band. So that way, if there is a little bit of overglue, you stand a better chance of being able to take the band off without ripping the wrapper on the cigar. And worst case scenario, you do end up ripping the wrapper on your cigar. You've already smoked half or more of your cigar, so you've gotten to enjoy it without destroying it first. 
Leave your bands on. Well. This is medium body. It, it, and medium bodied as far as strength goes. This cigar is, is very flavorful, but is not a punch you in the face with nicotine strength that some of AJ's cigars can be. Which, uh, AJ doesn't make strong cigars for the sake of making strong cigars. There's some companies out there that do that, and I call it strong for the sake of being strong. As long as it's a flavorful cigar that's also strong, strength ain't a bad thing. Nicotine strength. This is this is medium. This is medium. This is not a punch in the face with nicotine. Um, I, I, I've been puffing on this pretty good. Uh, I haven't really let this sit. Um, and, and as we're talking here, let me uh, let me show you the cigar. So you get a better look at it. I, I know uh, I've been trying to hold this thing up and show you what it looks like. Uh, I know this is the uh, the number two that is showing here, but uh, that's the only picture that's been released thus far. So, <laughs> so uh, that that's what we're dealing with. But you can you can better see the the, the band. Um, I think it gives a pretty good representation of the uh, the wrapper. Uh, that wrapper is. Uh, it, it's got a little reddish hue to it. It's it's almost like it's almost like that reddish hue that you get from a, a Colorado. Uh, it's 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 tough to see here because this darn camera doesn't like to focus on anything but me uh, because it's got the eye detection thing going on. But uh, it's it does have that that slight reddish tinge to it. Flavor notes, it, it, and while we're doing this, let me show you the box. It, slight hints of cocoa, um, a, a little bit of coffee, and it's not like a dark espresso. I'm getting more of like, not to, not to sound pretentious here, but uh, it's almost like a light roast, like a blonde roast coffee. It, it's, it's not a really deep, rich coffee flavor. Uh, it's, it's, it's just a touch of it. Uh, there's, there's no flavor in this that's, that's overpowering anything else. It's a very well blended cigar. I, I, it's tough to wrap my head around this one. There's just a hint of pepper. There's not much in the way of pepper on this thing. And again, that's something that you get out of AJ a lot is you get that uh, that very peppery flavor. I'm not getting it on this at all. Uh, this is not a, a pepper bomb. And, and the pepper that this is, again, not to sound pretentious, I, I, I absolutely hate when uh, reviewers pull weird things out of their hat. But the pepper in this, it's not like a stinging black pepper. It's it's almost like those, you ever had those pink peppercorns where it's it's not really peppery and it's almost got like a touch of sweetness to it? It's, it's almost like that. Again, I'm going to... I'll, I'll smoke a bunch of these and I'll do another review on these. Uh, I just wanted to, to get this out because it, these are going to release in May and we're getting towards the end of April. Uh, so I, I wanted to get this out to you guys. So that way you kind of knew what you were getting into the first time you smoke one. The construction on this has been absolutely fantastic thus far. But again, this is the one that I have smoked. So Please take this review with a, a large grain of salt because uh, I haven't, usually when I do reviews, I smoke multiples of the cigar before I do them. So that way I know what the flavors are. I know what the construction is. I, I know everything I can know about the cigar before I, I get in front of you and record something. Uh, so 
I just wanted to, I got this ahead of time. Um, I normally do get cigars ahead of time. A lot of manufacturers do that and give us little samples because, you know, they want us to taste it before we buy it. I'm going to start to try and do this with more stuff uh, and, and do reviews, even just little reviews on things before they come out. So that way, you know what you're getting into the first time you make that purchase. These are going to be a little pricey, just like the other 1935 anniversary edition Nicaraguas. They're going to be a little pricey. Is it an everyday smoke for the average Joe? Probably not. <laughs> But this is a great treat yourself once in a while cigar. This is a very nice uh, sit down with a, a glass of, of scotch or bourbon cigar. Um, I'm, I'm actually drinking this, or I'm actually smoking this with a little bit of uh, uh, Canada Dry ginger ale and lemonade, um, which, again, a lot of you'll say, lemonade, you can't do citrus with a cigar. I, a touch of it, yeah, you can. I, I, I happen to enjoy it. Um, I think it, I think it cleanses my palate a little better. Um, give this a shot when it comes out. Uh, they're saying May. I would put it mid-May because I, I, I haven't seen anything about it being released. Um, so I, I would probably put a mid-May before they start hitting shelves. Just my personal guess here. Uh, but give it a shot when it does hit. Uh, I think you're going to enjoy it. Uh, I I certainly have. Again, it's it's a, a medium strength. Uh, so those of you that maybe don't smoke AJ Fernandez product because most of it is strong, um, and uh, haven't tried some of the more expensive <laughs> releases from Monte Cristo as of late because they have been a little on the stronger side. If you're used to smoking mild to medium cigars, don't pass this by. Uh, I wouldn't smoke it early in the morning. I, I, I'd have a, a meal first if you're used to smoking something mild, but this isn't gonna this isn't gonna kill you if you're used to smoking mild cigars. Give it a shot. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, like the review, you know, give me a give me a like if if you like this. Give me a thumbs down if if you think I'm full of crap. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and hopefully I will catch you in another review.